goofed and didn't record the audio for this, so I'm kind of doing a voiceover. So I'm not sure how well this is going to work. But anyway, um, I've been kind of doing some work off camera, and I have some footage of what I did do um, to show you. Um, but I've been trying to get this build done as quickly as possible, so I've been doing a lot of work off camera. Um, I've added some lanterns, as you can see. I've kind of labeled some of the chests that we've gotten done so far. Um, and I honestly don't remember what all I said for this intro, because, like I said, I usually do my uh, recording for my time lapses without audio so I can watch. YouTube or, or whatever in the background and um, unfortunately did not remember to turn it back on when I recorded this little clip. So, um, oh I do know that I was talking about doing, um, gathering some glass for fizz. Um, so I've been going to the mining desert, mining up sand and smelting glass. Um, fizz is working on, or at least started a ender farm. And I've continued to uh, grind out some uh, string for him on the spider spawner. So, so here I go down to see what I got, how much I had smelted, and talk about how I put in this little sm smelting array to make it a little bit easier. Um, but I have to add the fuel manually as I couldn't figure out a good way to put it into that section. And then see uh, the sand that I had put in is already smelted. And I think I ended up having four or five stacks um, in there. And at one point I went out and gathered up some kelp to use for smelting because I'm running low on uh, coal. And I've also been smelting up some um, charcoal used out of the or out of the trees and stuff that I've been growing and it's been currently raining um, when I logged in so I was hoping to the rain to be gone by the time we come back to show you what I have accomplished to this point um, anyway so I hope you enjoy the clips that are coming up and enjoy the time lapse and then when we come back, we'll take a look at what, like I said, what I've accomplished thus far. So we'll see you in a few.
guys, and we're back. I'm standing here on the upper level of the towers, in between the two towers. And, um, this section here has a roof on it. But, um, and this is completed. The other two sections, as you can see, it's still raining, um, is not complete. They don't have roof on them yet. Um, I haven't decided for sure what area I'm going to make my main area. Um, I will probably maybe do the brewing um, area in one of these areas. Oh, and I ended up having to go get some more ink sacks as I ran out of gray dye for my glass. So, and these two sections here, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep because it makes it kind of difficult to see out the windows. So I might end up changing that, um, but I haven't completely decided on that yet. Um, but as else was, I was saying, um, I was thinking about making these two areas up here, uh, one as a green station and potentially the other area for enchanting. Um, but I haven't decided that yet as I have these two big tall pillars through here. Um, I'm not, I can't remember from the design um, if I had one more layer on these two towers. Um, I, I can't honestly remember, but um, I figured I can use these chests here, you know, for uh, items for potions and such, if that's what I ended up deciding to do. Um, and I also want to apologize. Um, when I recorded this clip in the beginning clip, I had my audio off, um, which I turn off when I do um, time lapses, because uh, you know I'm not narrating, so there's no sense for it to be on. It also allows me to watch uh, videos in the background um, as I'm doing what I need to get done, building and such. So I apologize if the audio quality is not all that good on the opening and this clip here um like i said i had to do a voiceover and then i believe here i was talking about um not sure if i wanted to make this probably a storage area um i, I decided that the other levels for the two towers that i wasn't going to use the storage that i was just going to leave them as they are so this might end up being a storage area or maybe a workstation um, or a work area. But I have a feeling it'll probably stay the way it is. Um, the floor, floor below um, where I have the smelting, um, I will probably duplicate that on the other side. That way you can use either section to do whatever smelting type things you need to do. Um, that way you're not just whichever's closest you can use, um, or that I can use. It, it, the towers are pretty um, substantial space for just me, but I like the design. Um, wanted something fairly large um, at some point. But yeah, here I'm getting uh, the scaffolding because now I'm going to go out and show you the. Uh, towers from the outside so you can get a better look um, of what I've finished to this point. Um, these are are pretty cl close to being complete so I'm hoping to have them done here fairly soon. Um, oh and then I talk about where I put in this smooth stone flooring which I don't really like but I didn't want to leave it as glass so that's what I did for now. I, at some point, I would like to turn that area, the, um, both towers, that first floor, using a uh, black uh, terracotta. Um, but like I said, I'll have to get some more ink sacks to do that and uh, find the mining mesa to complete or get the, the uh, clay or terracotta or whatever it's called. Um, that I need. And then I was talking about the charge creeper, the creeper over here that Ninja was trying to uh, 
get the head from using the charge creeper and she decided to leave that creeper there and hopefully um, it would be get charged but so far that hasn't happened yet um, so he just kind of sits out there I just avoid him like I said I have moon creepers don't get along and I start to pull her up and then I realize or put the big boo up here and I realize that's a little bit too tall so I just kind of knock it out and, and restart because I didn't want to go that high up. I just wanted to get high enough up so that you could get a good look of what the outside of the towers look like so far. So I just do this again and hopefully don't get it too high inside. That probably wasn't quite high enough so I do a few more here. And I thought, yeah, that's good. So then we'll go up here. Um, the jungle tree that's over here, I'm going to move it eventually, um, probably here pretty soon, and hopefully I can get some saplings off of it. So this is what the towers look like to this point. Um, like I said, that middle section is done. And I was talking about how I noticed some things that didn't look quite right, that looked a little odd. And then, then the one the window there, I realized that was the scaffolding I was seeing. I couldn't figure out, you know, why it looked different from the other one, but it's the scaffolding that I had in there from when I was building. Um, and then I noticed a few other little blocks that needed uh, changed, like, let's see if I notice it yet here. But there's a spruce plank on the outside that um, wasn't quite right. It should be a spruce log. Um, you probably see it by now. So I need to fix a little few things mistakes on the outside that weren't quite um, right that I missed fixing when I was doing it um, on that level but we'll get those fixed and um, like I said I'll probably finish this build off camera and make my fixes that I need to make like right there um, that needs fixed so I was just kind of saying you know how you when you step back and just take an overall look you can see where you've made mistakes um, that need to fix and luckily it so far what I've seen it's been nothing major easily fixed which is a good thing um, so I'll get those fixed and sorry about how I added the new lanterns um, to the build and place them inside which I will continue to do that I like that so much better over torch and everything um, I will probably eventually make um, some kind of like lamp poles um, around the area and use the lanterns for that as well just because I like the look. Um, I'm not sure what I'm talking about here. Um, probably about some of the things that need fixed. Uh, and then I was talking about how the one windows I wasn't sure like like right there, I think that's when I noticed that the spruce plank I didn't fix, uh, that I missed one, so I was talking about getting that fixed. And it doesn't quite look right there either, so I'll have to get, take a closer look to see what's not quite right, because the sides should be near the images. So like there should have been a stair where there's a log, um, like I said, there's, there's a few little things I've noticed that need fixed, so I'll have to go around the other sides of the build and see if there's any other mistakes. It's easier to see from this side and probably the other side because you can see them next to each other. It's going to be those far ends if I've made a mistake I may not catch. Then now here I'm talking about what else I wanted to do about jokers. Uh, build stack off in that area and I was talking about uh, making a couple of bridges but I wasn't sure if I wanted which of those two areas there that I wanted to take the bridge to and I thought about even making a bridge that kind of goes off to both and then a bridge across to that island there and um, then I was talking about having to do a, some kind of build around that another portal just so it's kind of hidden and then I was talking about maybe doing some kind of like maybe dock area or something. Um, I haven't quite decided what other builds I want to do. I do know um, I have a conduit that I want to get into the ocean somewhere. 
Um, I'm not sure which way out I want to go yet with that because across the way there, uh, Dude Samurai uh, is, it, his hair is over there, so I don't want to go too far up, so I'm not sure what all he has planned. Um, and here I'm just kind of taking a look around the area and noticing how my render distance is up all the way and you can't see as far. Um, like Jude from his uh, area, you can see my two towers from here. I'm, I'm headed back down and getting ready to end the episode. So with that here, um, that's going to be it for this one. And like I said, I do apologize for having to do the voiceover and the auto quality not being all that good. But I hope you did enjoy and we'll see what projects we can get into next. And then I noticed here that the, the world is glitched in this view and you can kind of see who was inside of those stairs, which is kind of odd. I think Joker also noticed that in his last episode. But anyway guys, this is where I'm going to leave it. I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time. Bye!